Hi everybody, this is Mr. Folly and welcome to the wonderful world of acids and bases part two. Um, this is basically the math of acids and bases. What is a log and an anti-log and then different types of problems that we get to go through. So basically this is going everything through the math. The equations. You better get these. You know, I'm going to hop back one and I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about what a log is. A log is a logarithm is really what it is. If I have something that changes, um, you know, and every time I get a unit, and the range, um, the vertical aspect of it is ranges from 0 to 1e10. And, you know, like the numbers are 30, and the numbers are 3,750, and the numbers are 8, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. That's really tough to graph because you need to have a y-axis that's got all kinds of crazy things on there. So what the mathematicians did was they came up with numbering things based on exponents. So this would be 10 to the first is 10, 10 squared is 100, 10 to the third would be 1,000, 10 to the fourth would be 10,000, 10 to the fifth would be 100,000. So a log is what you use when you have such wide variation in these different things, and that's what we're looking at. So the equation, better get these down. Um, pH equals negative log of H positive, and I want everyone, as you're writing this down, although you probably paused and you're copying these things down, you need your good calculator. So get out your little Mac Daddy calculator with all your little numbers, your little crisscrossy thing here, and then all of your numbers that go through all this stuff. Um, to the left of the number 7 is the log button. To the left of the number 7 is the log button. By the way, negative is the thing below the 3. So this is by the 3, and this is by the 7. It's by there. It's not it. So either way, pH is negative log of H positive. POH is negative log of OH negative. P, your mama is negative log your mama. So if you put a little p in front of anything, that means just going to negative log it. H positive equals 10 to the negative pH. So 10 caret negative and then pH. Okay. And OH is kind of the same thing. pH plus POH equals 14. And we kind of know the pH range basically is 0 to 14-ish. And then H positive times OH negative equals 1E negative 14. Notice we're doing 10 to the 14 and 14. That's that logarithm thing I was talking about before. Now, what does a log mean for us? A log for us is simply a button we hit on our calculator. Remember, H positive and H real positive are synonymous. pH. Give the pH the following H positive concentrations, ideas, and acid are base. So, to get the pH, pH equals negative log of H positive. So here I'm going to do negative log 0.15 equals, and in my happy little calculator, negative log 0.15, and I get 0.824. And then negative log of 2.5 E negative 4, is 3.6, oops, and negative log 8.15e negative 11 oops, hit the wrong button, is 10.1. That's it. Oh, I buy an acid or base. Yeah. Boop. Sorry. Um, here my pH is less than 7. It's an acid if pH is less than 7. So this is an acid, acid, base. Find the pH of the following OH negatives. So remember, if I do POH, it's negative log of OH negative. So negative log 1.51 e negative 3 is uh, 2.82 equals POH. Negative log of 2.65 e negative 8 
is 7.58 equals, whoops, POH. Negative log of 0 0.001. I really don't need a calculator for this. See how this is, this number is 1, 1, 2, 3. I moved it 3 spots. That means my POH is 3. Identify the above as an acid or base. Now remember, POH, um, if POH is less than 7, base. Remember, it's the opposite for pHs and pOHs. So this is a base. This is an acid because it's above. This is a base. Give the pH of the following pOHs. Remember, pH plus pOH equals 14. So that means 14 minus pOH equals pH. 14 minus 2 is 12. 14 minus 7 is 7. And 14 minus 11 is 3. For the above, is it an acid or a base? My pH is 12. That's a base. This is an acid. This one would be neutral. Next one, hopefully. Find OH given pH. So if this is my pH, what I can do is I can go from pH to pOH to OH. So 14 minus 3.22 is, it's sad, but I'm going to use my calculator, 10.78. That's pOH. So that means OH negative equals 10 to the negative 10.78. Okay, so 10 to the negative 10.78 is 1.65, 1.66, E negative 11 molar. So 14 minus 5.17 is 8.83. Whoops. So OH equals 10 to the negative 8.83. And if you're getting quick go-to problems on some of these things, make sure you're hitting the negative button and not the minus button. So this is 1.48 E negative 9 molar. And then 14 minus 9.93 is 4.07. So 10 to the negative 4.07, and 4.07 again would be the pOH. So this gives me my OH negative, which is uh, 8.51 E negative 5. So here's pOH and find the H positive. So here's pOH, so let's get pH. 14 minus 2.15 would be 12, 11.85. So H positive equals 10 to the negative 11.85. 10 raised to the negative 11.85 is 1.41 E negative 12. So you've seen how this is really just an exercise in using your calculator and learning those equations from that page I told you, you need to memorize. Last one, I know I skipped 12.6, but we won't get going, don't we? Find OH given the H positive. So this is the H positive. Remember, H positive times OH negative equals 1E negative 14. So that means OH negative equals 1E negative 14 over H positive. So without writing this down, my pen's kind of jumping around on me. I'm just going to take 1E negative 14 divided by each of these. I'm going to label these A, B, and C. So for A, 1E negative 14 divided by 6.33E negative 4 is 1.58E negative 11 molar equals OH negative. For B, 1 E negative 14 divided by 2.18 E negative 8 
is 4.59 E negative 7 molar equals OH negative. And then 1 E negative 14 divided by 0.195 equals 5.13 E negative 14 molar for C. Review. I hope. Calculators rock. So basically, as long as we can hit these buttons in, know between minus and negative, and that should be the biggest problem I have. pH is actually used in real life to diagnose problems. Um, swimming pools, a lot of people have checked pH to make sure you don't get mold or whatever it is that's in there. Blood poisoning, blood has a pH. It's either around 7.4. I can't remember. It's 7.4 or 7.8, so somebody can look that up tonight and get your extra credit for me not knowing what that is. Um, soil sustainability for certain crops. Um, one of my favorite stories about trees, besides they're green and don't run around, is that pine trees, oh, let me draw a little pine tree, pine trees drop their needles on the ground and pine needles change the pH of the soil. So they change, oops, they change the pH of the soil so that only pine trees can grow there. So they basically poison the soil so that only pine trees can live there. So pine trees are your commandos of the tree world. Um, and acids, if you have too much acid in your stomach and you want to reduce the acid, you can use an antacid. And acid rain, SO2 is a main contributor to acid rain. NO and NO2 are others. And what happens is SO2 plus H2O, if you even look at this, it makes H2SO3 just by smushing it. That's an acid. So when the rain falls down, you get acid literally falling on top of you, which is sad. And we'll talk a little bit more about this. This is called an acid and hydride. And acid rain is one of the big problems with that. And in right around 12 minutes. Two